I think the culture we reflect in Miami Dade across the board is one that relies on equity and access, meaning if it's good for some, it must be good for everyone. You know, rising tide lifts all ships. I think Miami Dade creates magic. We're trying to create a college bound students. We're very excited about our AP scores. We speak openly about it. AP classes put so much of a challenge on you, and they put so much, even like a strain on you, but it teaches you how to push yourself. You know, I often say that Miami is the new American city. It is probably the most diverse city in America, but also a city with a great deal of poverty. More than 75% of our students are on free or reduced lunch. The bulk of my students have to work. Their income is part of what the family needs to pay the rent. I've been raised here my entire life, and my parents were born in Cuba. I come from a very impoverished neighborhood. I am from where there is no war, but the innocent die every day. You know, some kids get to high school and they've struggled for years, and so you have to push them. The fact that we were able to dramatically increase the participation of these underserved communities is a vindication that all students can learn if, in fact, we, the adults, believe. When they first walk into the class, they look like they're in the headlights. They're, they're, they're petrified. At some point, I was like, why am I even in this class? I would step closer to it. Like, my heart would literally start racing. Sometimes, like, I'd even be, like, crying before I got to class. It was that serious. The teachers in AP classes don't babysit you. The coursework definitely doesn't babysit you. They hit a point where they'll come in and they'll say, I can't, I can't take this class, you have to take me out, I can't take this class. For a lot of time, it's the idea of, no, I'm not letting you give in. I'm not going to let you stop. And I realized that, wow, struggle and, and overcoming it is really going to shape the person that I'm going to become. They just have to be told that they can do it. So I think that it builds thicker skin stronger character, and ultimately I think they gain a better appreciation of who they are and what their limitations are. And fortunately, by the end of my course, they, they believe they have far fewer limitations than they did prior to my course. My biggest obstacle, pretty much peer pressure and the things that it offered me, drugs, stolen hopes, and broken dreams. But through it all, like access to AP classes actually has helped me. The teachers kind of become like a a weird set of parents to you because initially you hate them <laughs> but really in the end you know that they have your best interests in mind. The teachers are my support system and they are just here they're always pushing me driving me it squeezes the best out of me. And education really is a very powerful tool in my life and I know in plenty of my peers. AP has definitely opened up college for me. In many ways, public education is the great equalizer. It's what allows everybody from, no matter where you've come from, to achieve something great. There isn't more pay if you stay longer hours or if you actually care about the children. But when you see them transformed, I'll never look back. I mean, this is what I was meant to do.